Dude, I don't know what these mean. I climb the stairs and then look at the berry. What stairs? Oh, these stairs. Are these the stairs? I don't think these are the stairs. Look at the berries. These are berries. Is it like past the berries? There's like a... Oh, dude, that's it. That's it? Wait. Hey, that was not bad. I found a local story. To the north of Buklov's castle stands a solitary rock called Buklov's Rock. It was cre created when a devil made a bet with Buklov's castle master. Devil, the devil claimed that he could carry a huge rock from a nearby quarry before dawn. The object of that bet was, of course, the castle master's soul. It looked bleak for a poor castle master, but suddenly, as the devil was approaching with the rock, a cock crowed before dawn and the devil thinking he had lost the bet grew angry and threw the rock to the ground the rock split into three parts which you can still see to this day okay i mean okay so that was like a story i guess interesting so you can find stories out in the world wait how do i go down oh just oh oh okay uh, no, that works. I feel like that's kind of crazy that there's so many different paths you can go to. And areas you can follow. Like, it's almost too much, you know? Like, I kind of appreciate that the, there's, like, a, you know, there's a lot of stuff to explore in this game. But it kind of removes from the stressful experience. I guess, I guess that's the point, maybe? Like, the point is to have, like, kind of these offshoot areas so that you don't die from, like, a heart attack or something. I really wish I could find the um, item I need to climb. Like the other puzzle. I need like a metal bar or something. Oh, well, another wrapper. Not what I was looking for, but I mean, that works. Just don't, yeah, I need, I need an item specifically for that, but I don't see it. 
Unless it's like back of the murder house. Which I'm really hoping it isn't. But I think it is. Oh wait, no, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it's down here. Oh. Well, you look at that. I'm stuck. It's okay, though. I, I, I give them a pass for that kind of bug because the game is massive and these people are two. Uh, they're a team of two, so I respect the effort. I really don't see. Anything I could realistically pick up. That could be used for that. Maybe the pat with the crosses? Oh yeah, there's no crosses here. No, I don't, I don't see where we could... There's nothing to pick up. Wait, where does this go? Oh, a wrapper. Hmm. I don't see what we could pick up that could allow us to go up there. It really seems like we're missing an item. But I just don't know where the item is. Let's take a look one last time and then we'll go to the chapel or whatever is up there. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely an item that I, I don't possess. Yeah. Okay. What well, I mean, you were looked. We didn't find it. So let's move on. It's probably just another story, to be honest, but it might have been nice that I find the thing. Uh. Oh. Another wrapper. I have a lot of wrappers now. Oh. Weird. It really feels like this leads to like a spot here, but oh, oh, there it is. There it is. If there I had is. more time, I'd climb up. What do you mean? If you had more time, climb up. What? If I had more time, I'd climb up. You literally just climbed up another spot, dude. 
It's probably story related though. I'm assuming we'll have to come back here and climb that up. A lot of metal stuff here. Maybe maybe what I'm looking for is around here. Or or maybe not. Nah, I guess it isn't. No, it isn't. Oh, look at that. Where does that go? This was always my favorite view. I wish I was here just to hike. It was? Your favorite view? Can I not? I can't pass that. This feels like there's something else to do here, but I don't know what. Unless it's just for the view, which, I, I mean, you know, it's not impossible. Oh, that's not good. What is it, bears? Huh. I always loved this place. I wonder if the chapel's still open. It's really beautiful inside. Oh, the lag. Hold on. Okay. Fresh snowflakes again? Somebody's trying to keep this place alive. Weird. Let's go this way. I I don't know why we can go here. There's nothing at all. Except maybe no. No. Oh. Huh. It's way up there. Wait, I s Daniel? Any news? Yeah, I think I almost found her last night, and someone smashed my head. Oh my god. Where are you exactly? <laughs> In the woods. But don't worry, I'll get her today. She called me a couple of minutes ago. She... She called you? Are you sure it was her? I've been calling her constantly. Give me a break. It was her cell, and despite her crappy signal, she told me where to find her. She seems to be in trouble. Hey, Fatman, what's up, dude? Werewolves? <laughs> no. No buts. Two things. First, nobody knows these woods better than I do. If I can't find her, nobody can. And second, it's what I do. I bring her back. 
You just stay out of this for once. I'm her mother. I deserve to know. I'll call you when I know anything. Okay, the so far, every single voice actor has been pretty good, except for the main dude. And I mean, no offense to that guy. Uh, you know, he's he's probably trying his best and everything, but it, it's just it's just like maybe maybe it was a direct thing of like the direction of like he was given for the voice or something. But it, it sounds like he's faking it the entire time, though. He doesn't come off as like naturally talking. Fat man, I'm happy you're here, dude. Really am. Why, you might ask? Because I'm scared shitless. Or rather, when there's a scary bit, I'm really scared. The uh, creepy region provides a shelter for many animals, plants, and mushrooms. You can find extremely rare ghost orchids, Apigodium aphilum. These beautiful plants are actually epiparasites since they obtain their nutrients from the vast mycorrhizal network of the region you can find here plenty of rare animals as well eurasian eagle owls uh bubo bubo okay black storks ciconia nigra and praying mantises mantis religiosa are f just a few examples of the many wildlife you might encounter on your hikes Another beautiful, upbeat, dangerous species is Erasus moravicus. Though the species is extremely rare for some reason yet to be discovered, they are very common in the Kribi region. Their venom is similar to a neurotoxin, which can be found in certain species of snake. Uh, though these colorful and venomous spiders are not usually aggressive towards humans, it has been reported that a child died after being bitten by a larger specimen. So exercise ca caution and do not try to approach them. Mandragora... Okay. If you explore, you should be careful to avoid wild boars because they can be very dangerous, especially during meat mating season. Maybe they were not bears what I saw before. Maybe they were the, the boars, but it's just the angle I was in. It was really hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I typically, I'm not a huge, huge fan either, um, which is weird because I used to have like a horror month thing that I did, remember? Uh, every October... But it was mostly me pushing myself through my fear to kind of provide entertainment. Not because I like it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like quite a story. I can imagine Ida's face if I did something like that to her. I can't believe how far you'd go to win the bet. You were so afraid I would make it easily up the trail with the pack, and you would have to make dinner that you just had to cheat. Bricks. You bastard. You put bricks in the pack. Don't bother calling me again. Oh, and I really hope you know your way around the woods, because I took your compass, water, food, and flashlight. But no worries. I left you the cook stove pot and your damn bricks. Cheers. Damn. That's rude. A small portable stove. It might come in handy. I think it's like a cook pot. I think so. I can't do anything with it though. Oh no, maybe it's part of the stove. Conceptual items? What? Sometimes Daniel knows what to do, but has to assemble his idea before from multiple items. You can see his ID visualized as a blue transparent blueprint. You can insert items from your inventory into the correct space uh, places as shown by his idea blueprint. Your progress is tracked by completion meter, telling you how much work still needs to be done. Look at that. It is a backpacker's cookpot? Okay, you know what? Before, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I click off stream. Hold on. <laughs> uh, let's put that in. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. Here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. 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 Got it. We got it. We got it. Chat. Now I can heat up water without risking a forest fire. If I'd known I'd be here this long, I'd have brought my camping gear. Look at that. He's got a little face. He's uh neutral to see me. Yeah, you should have seen my reaction earlier to one of the scary bits. <laughs> like Pyro literally said, and I quote, Wow, what a reaction. <laughs> it scared me so like I I'm like I didn't expect the guy to be right there. St. Clement Monastery, okay. The crazy part is like these are actual places in in the Czech Republic. Like, this is an actual monastery. And this is probably, like, taken directly from, like, a description of the site. Like, th this is a real QR code. I scanned one before. It opens up a map of, uh, of the Czech Republic that pinpoints directly where this monastery is. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. Like, honestly. In the historical period of the Great Moravian Empire, I didn't even know there was a Great Moravian Empire. That's pretty cool. Uh, this hill hosted a church, a monastery. St. Clement's Fortress was built on a woody hill off the southwest part of the Creeby Hills, near an old trade pathway connecting the central Moravia Vale with the Brno region. According to local legend, Saints uh, Cyril and Methodius uh, transferred the remains of Pope St. Clement here and buried them somewhere underground. The remains of a church wooden chapel in St. Gorazdus Belfry can be seen here. The first serious uh, research to discover a monastery from Cyril Methodius times was conducted by Robert uh, Sekmanek in the early 20th century. It was Lucky to find within the church nave the graves of eight skeletons. Another discovery worth mentioning is a gold Byzantine coin, a so-called solid that dates back to the first half of the 9th century. According to an in-depth archaeological survey, survey, the first phase of building the fortress started in the mid-9th century and quickly became the busiest in the time of Great Moravia. When the empire collapsed, the settled area shrunk, and during the first half of the 12th century, the fortress fell into ruin. The site is also sought after by mystery seekers for strange unexplained phenomena, which are said to be connected to a long lost and buried monastery from the 10th century. Okay. Very interesting. Especially since I'm actually learning stuff that is not like, like this is not like a fan fiction. Like it's a real place. And this is like real history. I find that super interesting. Because, like, you know, if it was all fake, then it would probably not be as interesting. The fact that it's, like, it's a real place makes it that much better. The attention to detail in this game is kind of crazy. Like, all these locations, they must have, like... I mean, they must have probably, like, went from, like, either from actual pictures and just recreated, recreated the place, or they kind of just, like, created a fake place that they called St. Clement's Monastery, or they went from, like, pictures they took, somebody took in a book or something. I don't know, but, like, all these locations are really very detailed the uh, for a team of two people it's kind of crazy oh i don't want to go in there i really don't want to go in there <sighs> huh back then they always kept it open for visitors i guess nothing stays the same 